BJU Press Homeschool has a new pre-calculus course, this one right here, that I want to share with you some of the changes that they've made to this new second edition book. I have taught through the previous edition and I am so excited to be able to teach this new course come fall. Hopefully we'll be able to do that with other people. So, uh, the course is designed to prepare college track students for majors in science, math, business, and education. Um, but every student can benefit from the biblical worldview that they teach in this course on how to interpret the data and to how to make decisions based on data that they can collect and gather. Some of the noticeable changes in the book um, that I would like to share with you are if you've used the geometry program, it's going to be very similar in layout to that. There's still A, B, and C exercises and a cumulative review for every lesson. And then this will help you to design a course that's specific to your child. As for the difference in the chapters, chapters one through three, they focus on everything algebra, from functions to radicals to polynomials to exponents and logarithms, and they introduce limits and continuity, new concepts and parametric equations that they'll see when they take calculus in college. Chapters four through six seem to focus on trigonometry and taking that algebra two to the next level. Chapters seven through nine will focus on matrices and linear programming, analytic geometry with rotated conics. Now that's the new concept and polar equations and sequences along with their financial ramifications because all financial planners and anybody working in the finance market uses sequences because they want to see how much it's going to grow and what it's going to be like in the years ahead. Um, the last three chapters in the book, chapters 10 through 12, will focus on providing a framework of statistics and calculus. Chapters 10 and 11 take statistics and break it into two chapters. Chapter 10 is descriptive statistics that they've learned throughout BJU math. And chapter 11 is an introduction to inferential statistics. And then chapter 12 would be an introduction to calculus. There is a teacher edition. This is volume book one of volume two. It's got a nice plastic binding that won't get distorted too much. Um, it has instructional helps down in the bottom of the pages that will help you down at the bottom here. The lesson objectives and down at the bottom. This is all helps for the teacher. Um, one of those things that I find very helpful are the step-by-step -step solutions to all of the problems. Let's see if I can get a picture of some of them up here. Later on, those step-by-step -step solutions come in very handy. Um, right here, you can see step-by-step -step how to solve it. The answers themselves are simply highlighted in red in the text. If you just want the answers, but if you need a solution, they're all worked out throughout the whole thing. It's been really, that's really helpful for if you're not strong in math yourself. They have um, a lesson overview at the beginning of the year that helps you plan it out for the year at the beginning of the book. There are um, common student errors that they have found students make in math so that this helps you and you can say now be careful don't do this because a lot of kids will do that and I've done it too. Another thing that this course does is it uses the TI-84 family of calculators. It is almost a necessity. They will also use a, a graphing app called Desmos to graph some of the things that the calculator just doesn't, can't do adequately enough or something like that. Um, the student text, as I was looking through this, there is adequate white space throughout the text. It's not jammed packed. Like here's a sample of a textbook page. 
it is not jammed packed with um, stuff without white space. The definitions for words are highly highlighted and written out clearly so they can understand it. Every exercise example, every example, not the next slide, every example has a skill check for the for the student to go to the problems and do a problem just like that example so that they can learn how to do it. There are also in the text for the student keyword searches. So if they are interested in a particular topic, they can go search that for themselves and see what is on the internet and find out more information on that. There are also biblical perspectives on math and the biblical, how the Bible relates to math. They also have a historical connection, a technology corner, and a data analysis section. So I hope that you would like to you'll be able to check out this course and use it in the future. I am so excited to try it. I'm hoping that the current situation will allow us to do that. So have a good day and thanks for watching.